Oh god! That didn't work, did it? Hello everyone, how are we doing? So, Rachel, how are we doing? And Jason, how are we doing? Oh, you're on the bus, Rachel, okay. <laughs> Hello, Jason. How you doing? How you all doing? Hello, Mark Blaster. How you doing, mate? <coughs> Excuse me. I'm good, thank you. Thank you, Rachel. God, blimey, that's got to go. Yeah, um, Stefano was, I was in Stefano's stream before this, um, having a few games. Marking away. <laughs> What's that? Inches. Yeah, I've had this guy for a while now. Can't get rid of it. I found I'm stuck with it. Oh well. What well, not to worry. <laughs> Oh, I've got the perfect meds. I will be having some beers later, so that that might cure it. <laughs> That's the perfect medicine, isn't it? Beers. Or alcohol, whatever. Craze, injecting drugs into you. I've heard of that one, Rachel. Hello, David. How you doing, mate? E by gum. E by gum. You should put that one in um, Yellow Belly's dad jokes. <laughs> How you doing, Dave? You're thinking about putting the eating on. You shouldn't think about it if you're cold. If you're cold, put the eating on. <laughs> yeah, as up here, it's been raining all day. It's really getting cold up here. Or just dress up warmer. That's why I've got a jumper on. <laughs> it's definitely getting colder. Well, we are in October, so you've got to expect it. Need some of that alcohol down you, Rachel. <laughs> That'll warm you up. Uh, 
Hello, Texi, how you doing? Pipe Mania, yeah, it was a good game actually, I quite enjoyed it. Bit frustrating, it is a little bit annoying when you don't get the parts you want. But other than that, it's pretty playable. Enjoyable, but it can be a frustrating little game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is what I like when people do a review, when people play it or review it. I, I, I look and think, well, I might like that, and I'll give it a go for myself. Give me the right bits for bits. <laughs> yeah, just give me the right bits. Oh, I said. <laughs> something, I don't know if you like puzzle games, Rach. Might be something you might like. You'll probably get annoyed. <laughs> might get annoyed a bit like I did. Especially when they don't give you the right bits. I suppose you've got to work it out in advance where you can't just waste the place, you've got to really try and use them. So you've got to try and put them in part of the place where you might where it might where you might use it. You've got to think ahead in that game. Locomotion. Oh, it's that thing with the train, isn't it? Yeah, I think I've reviewed that. Yeah, I'm I'm sure I've reviewed that. Even that frustrates me. <laughs> Loops. Well, I don't think I played that one. Chat's gone a bit quiet. Is anyone still there? <laughs> give it away but I have um, I pretty much review, I have reviewed pretty much all of the Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom and I'll give it away none of them are that good on on either on any of the systems that I played it on none of the versions of um, Indiana Jones and Temple of Doom 
are that good. The only one that was good was the arcade original. And um, I've done some recordings of, um, you know, you you did um, The Last Crusade. Well, I've actually recorded the Amstrad CPC version of it. Um, I'm not going to give anything away. And I've also recorded another one called Lost in Atlantis or something. Something about Atlantis. I've got, I've recorded quite a few games. I've done the list, so... I've, I'm well ahead of myself, so I've, done, I've been doing pretty well on my list and reviewing other games. So, the fate of Atlantis, yeah, yeah, I, I, I recorded that as well. I won't, I won't say anything about it. I don't want to give anything away, unless you play it, of course, and you have your own views of what you think. Eleven discs! Bloody hell! Um, it might be a completely different from the C different version from the CPC version then. Hello Stefano, how you doing mate? Long time no see and hello DVD, the same long time no see. <laughs> a really good stream tonight Stefano, I really enjoyed it. <coughs> Oh, um, I had a game, I think I, I can't remember the, the most discs I had on a game. 11 discs, I, I would fucking hate to have 11 discs, imagine all the discs swapping. Fucking hell. I think I had a game called Rally Driver or Rally, a, a car racing game, a rally game, It was. A, I think that was numbered discs. You keep fucking swapping the discs all the time. Monkey Island 2, I didn't have that back in the day. Yeah, if it if you had a hard drive then then fantastic. I think I had a I did have a hard drive for my Amiga twelve hundred. And that considerably helped. <laughs> Bloody hell, I hate this swapping. Indiana Jones Great Adventures on the snares. I haven't played that version. Maybe I'll get round to it at some point. Yeah, I've reviewed quite a lot of games. I've caught right up on my list and I've done additional games as well. So I'm about a week a hard ahead week and a half ahead of myself, I'd say. Always try and keep it to two a day if I can. So I remember I remember what years ago I used to like upload about I don't know three or four a day. God blimey, how did I manage that? But I would no, this is when I weren't doing it every day, that's why I was doing videos in one day and just uploading them, but I tend to spread them out now. Because some days I'm I'm a little bit busy, so at least I try and keep it at least two a day if I can. Oh fucking hell, really? Shit, I didn't know that. She was 15. So how old was she when she was in Animal House then? Because that was made, what? A few years before that. And they, they was all sitting around the table take, smoking, you know what? With Donald Sutherland. Yeah, the character. She was 15. She was... Oh, right. Why did they make her 15? God, perhaps, you know, 1981 things weren't so bad back then. Now you could be 15! Fucking hell. In prison.
Oh, okay. Fucking 14 or 15. Fuck knows why you... I, 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 I can't understand why people would want to get married at that fucking age. It's bad enough getting married in my mid 20s. Well, my late 20s, I got married. Um, that was bad enough then. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> no, only if it's going, you know, it's different back there, you know. Everyone's different. <laughs> it sounds like Croydon, David. <laughs> God knows how many how many women when I left school was already up the duff when I left school. <laughs> yeah, that was that was weird, DVD. I could never understand why. Well, when a sister snogged Luke Skywalker, and he was quite happy about it to make uh, Han Solo jealous. Celine Dion blasting out the headphones. Oh no! You better turn your volume up, Rachel. What is, what's worse, hearing Celine Dion or my own voice? <laughs> I bet you'll be listening to Celine Dion now. <laughs> oh, all right. I thought you'd written all three parts. Well, I'll probably do out. Mind you, that happened in Empire Strike Back, didn't it? When he, when they got, when they kissed. <laughs> well, there's no way I'm going to be singing like Sly Celine Dion, whatever her name is. So don't worry about that. I will not be singing. I've not seen Howard the Duck, and it's something that I don't particularly want to. <laughs> never, it never gripped me when I saw the trailer. Nah. It's one of those films that I don't give a shit about watching. Yeah, I thought it might be. All right. Oh, you've seen it then, Dave. Okay. It's cheesy, but you like it. Okay. You like the cheese. <laughs> oh, Leah Thompson's in it. <laughs> I'll let you sing it, Rachel. I will let you. <laughs> Next time you do a video, you can sing it.
I mean, I, I, you know me, I fucking can't stand rap. But I did really enjoy that game, though. That was good fun. But it, I, the thing is, it's just um, rhyming the words. That's all what rap is. It's just rhyming. Or, or hip. I can never tell what's the difference between hip hop and rap. Is it just someone going on about their life in a rap? Some miserable bastard gear are going to rap their fucking life story. <laughs> no, you won't, Rachel. No, you won't. You'll get all the viewers if you do. I guarantee if you see him, you will. What was that one of? Oh, God. Something's nice. <laughs> Something about Filipinos eating rice. Or something like that. <laughs> no, Filipinos powered by rice or something. Fuck knows what I was going. What was going through my head there? I think we've found that one is a good one though. That, um, what was it called? I can't remember what it was called. Roger Rabbit. Oh, I like Roger Rabbit. Quite like that one. Who framed Roger Rabbit? What's that? Who framed Roger Rabbit? Yeah, I quite liked it. Mind you, it's not everyone's cup of tea, I must admit, but I quite liked it. Didn't mind it. I've actually saw that at a cinema. I am not even sequel world, and I don't even want to. <laughs> After playing the game, well, but even the film doesn't appeal to me. Should never, should never judge a game by the film. But what I've seen a little bit of, it, what I actually know about it, it I don't really want to know. Really, didn't it have um, what's his name in it? Um, oh, I've forgotten his name. Brad Pitt, wasn't it? Brad Pitt had him in it, didn't it? So that was enough to put me off. <laughs> Rachel's probably going, Brad Pitt's in it! Hello, Pino. How are you doing? I haven't seen you for a while. Oh, you don't like Brad Pitt, Rachel. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> for all the women like Brad Pitt, not the case. <laughs> what? Cool world? No, I wouldn't want to. <laughs> Bob Hoskins is a better actor, in my opinion, anyway. He's handsome. 
مرة لا زين تاك بقى تمام اوكي sunset it's bloody dark here you mean that f sunset we're only about a hundred odd miles away from sure how far is Swindon from Croydon I think it's only about a hundred and something miles mind you that's, that's quite far actually <laughs> Bloody, you knew enough. It's pitch black here. Near enough. Mind you, I've got the curtains closed. Might be a little bit light outside. Exactly, bar women, yeah. I mean, Tom Cruise is another lady's favourite, isn't it? Anyway, should we play some games? Well, he got an hour. <laughs> he's the best paid actor. Well, he's been going for a while, isn't he? He's been going for a while and he's still, you know, still top of the bill. There's even going to be another Top Gun film coming out. Yeah, that was a, it was all right, everyone, you know, I was, so, what well, old was I, in 86, you know, so I was about, can't bloody remember now, <laughs> you know, a, a young teenager, 12 years old, 13, 12, 13, like that, so we had fighter planes in it, you know, someone young, oh, it's got fighter planes, yes, excellent, <laughs> didn't watch it at the cinema though, remember watching it, I think it was on Sky or something. No, I didn't have Sky back then. I don't know. I watched it. I think my mate had it on video or something. Yeah, Bond's been postponed till what next year? <laughs> It's not like I'm going to go and sit on, in the cinema anyway, because it's not one of the Daniel Craig films that's really done it for me, really. It's not really main, it's not one of those films, it's not those films that just haven't got that replay value, like the, um, like the Roger Moore and Sean Connery's and, um, oh, what's his name, Timothy Dalton ones. They just have that replay value about them, but these newer ones don't for me. I haven't got those iconic moments. What can you, like Casino Royale, what can you think of that's really an outstanding moment? Like with the, like say, octopus scene. Not, it was the plane scene at the beginning. And the yo-yo, the yo-yo the thing. You know, you can think of like a film, a James Bond film, you can think of the iconic moments. Like li live and let die, the speedboat chase. Parker, what's that? What Parker scene? The Parker scene. Yeah. 
you know, you never see spectacular things that, like, you, um, for your, no, I want my somewhere, I live in, oh. Spire loves me, the spire loves me, you think of the lotus, um, the underwater thing that pops up, and, um, you know, things like that, big tanker. Oh yeah, the, with the plane. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was with the when it I was blowing up the thing. He went over in the plane and caught it. Oh yeah, but I've seen that on other films when they go up on a crane. Didn't they do that in um, True Lies? I was up on the crane and jumped onto the Harrier. The worst Bond song. What I've heard is that new one. That new one by Billy, whatever her name is. That was awful. And that's probably the worst Bond film of Bond song I've ever heard. Bond theme by Miles. They just don't have the talent anymore. There's no talent. That sounded awful. All right. Yeah, I look back at it. You f oh my god, the wall was the wall apart. That looked crap. I'll look back at that, that is definitely the worst of the Pierce Brosnan era. That was the worst film. I think my favourite could have been The World Is Not Enough. I actually saw all four of those films in the cinema, all these films in the cinema. Yeah, that was a bit stupid, That um, the car that went invisible with the cameras. Yeah, you can't do that. As if you can do that with a tyre, make a tyre invisible. or anything else. It's impossible. Hello. Hello Matt, how you doing? Gibraltar beat Liechtenstein. I like, yeah, Goldeneye I didn't mind. Didn't mind Goldeneye. That would probably be my second out of the four. I think I think it was a good James Bond, Timothy Dalton. I think he, he I, I did prefer the Living Daylights over License to Kill. These were when the Bond films were good. You know, under under you know Cubby Broccoli when you know the proper producer. I mean, watching the new James Bond, just it's just a, a normal film to me. It doesn't feel like James Bond. And I don't know who this, who's this new person anyway. It's going to take take over him. I mean, what I've heard, they wanted it to be a woman. That ain't gonna work! How can you have a fucking woman James Bond? Yeah, but the thing is, it's like replacing Lara Croft with a man. You can't do it. it was, it's, you know, it's for a woman. It's a woman's part. You can't do that. Leave things alone. 
Leave James Bond as a bloke, leave Lara Croft as a woman. No, what did I just say? James Bond is a man, Lara Croft as a woman. Oh my god. <laughs> Justin Bieber, can you imagine it? He'd probably run a mile if he saw a gun. <laughs> I'll certainly stop watching it. <laughs> Larry Croft. <laughs> Larry Croft. <laughs> Chris <laughs> Gee. Anyway, he's gone south. I think we need to play some games now. <laughs> Won't have no time left. Mind you, I do, but I don't mind having a chat. It's quite nice to have a chat. Me as Bond, I swear too much, that's my problem. A ginger, a ginger Bond, can you imagine that? Oh, Stefano, you're going to take note, yeah? Okay, cheers, if you don't mind. Mind you, I don't think anyone's in trouble, we're all having a chat. <laughs> I don't mind having a chat. Yep, of course, Stefano, of course. I've actually reviewed some um, Master System games, actually. And a big surprise on one of them. I won't tell you any games that I've reviewed, but... Yeah, a very big surprise on one of the Master System games I reviewed. And that's positive. Yeah, Snowflower, we won't mind that, as long as they die. <laughs> as long as they get killed, we won't mind that. <laughs> Don't. Name Bond, James fucking Bond. Yeah, my name is James fucking Bond. Give us a shag. <laughs> As the women of villains, yeah. I think Roger Moy, he knew he was getting long in the tooth for it. I think he knew, so that's why I think he desired. I think, uh, honestly, he was, but I think he'd done it. He, he stopped it at the right time. I mean, I liked all these Bond films. I, liked, I, I can't say there's a bad Roger Moore film, Bond film, because I really enjoyed them all. Akari Warriors on the Amstrad. Okay, Jason. Right, okay. Let's get to the emulators. Oh, bollocks. Yeah, okay, right, okay, never mind about that. <coughs> I think I have reviewed this game. Oh, no, I don't want that version. That's a Spanish version. Oh, I hope not. 
fucking can't. I'll, I'll fucking hate you if it's a musical. Oh, you bastard. Why did that crash? Well, that's... Oh, what's the ba base? Oh. oh, fuck it. Here we go. Yeah, he was, he was getting on a bit. Right, we use joystick. Push key for what? Toggle. Space bar. Oh, I could have used my B button, can I? Select player two. I'm not going to use player two. No, I wouldn't let you use the B button anyway. Oh, come on! Right, one. Whoa! Oh, you bastard. Oh, come on, this is a bit unfair that I remember. I should have used keyboard. Oh, come on, he walks too slowly. It's a little bit unfair, this game. I'm going to try a keyboard. Oh. Forget it, it won't let me. Oh, right. How do I? Oh, right. You hold your thumb down. Hold your button down, rather. There we go. That's how you do it. Oh, now I'm fucked. Now I'm fucked. Oh, come on, kill me there. Uh. Oh, so you touch him and you die. Oh, come on. Ah, you bastard got me. I think this, um, I can't remember, I have reviewed this on quite a few different systems, I can't remember what one's the best version, what I think is the best, oh fuck it, game over, fuck this, this is quite difficult, I'm sure I've got the buildings yet, Indiana Jones on the snares. Okay. Right, I'll have one more go. See if I can get a little bit further. I doubt it. It's probably why they give you so many lives. I 
say prefer um, or, what was it commando I prefer commandos for this well, I think I prefer who days wins too isn't it? ah Getting a little bit further. Oh! Aha! Ah, tank! No! At least you carry on where you leave off. That's a plus point. Can't go in the water because he can't swim. You wouldn't think that was a commando, wouldn't you? Would you? Oh, can you go in the water? I can't. Remember. Just don't want to find out. Ah, oh, what? We can go in the water, okay. Oh! Come on, we're going to escape that, can we? Can you play two player on this simultaneously? Ah, oh, what? Is that bastard there? I can't see his bullets. Damn it! Oh, come on, I think you need to play two players simultaneously on this. I need to get my... Oh, you get to type in your name. Good. Right, okay, we'll have a game of Indiana Jones on the Super Nintendo. Okay, Jason. Indiana Jones, Great Adventures. Is that what it is? Well, it's the only one I got. Oh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. And Indiana Jones. Oh, it's, oh right, it's just telling you all the titles. Okay. JVC. Oh, the graphics look good on this. Right, passwords, have a look at the options. Right, difficulty, easy. Stereo, testing music. Right. Look at that, music sounds quite, it's quite quiet. Frantic Freddy on the Amiga, okay. Okay, let's not. Right, okay, this looks this looks promising. Right, so that's jump. Oh hang on. That's punch, that's punch. Done, I, can I use my whip? Have I got a whip? I mean, that's what he was famous for, was carrying a whip. Oh, bollocks. Can't get over that. No, it's again. Oh, that fucking web. Oh, you got to take. It takes you back. Well, that's no good. Oh, 
almost that. Oh, get... Right, that web's taking me out. Am I supposed to get past the web? Oh, this is bollocks. I thought... Hmm. I mean, I'll give it for the graphics. Graphics look quite good. I'm disappointed you can't use the whip. What's that at the top there? Can't reach it, whatever. I'm... Can I jump higher? No. So that button punches, that button punches, that button punches, that throws, and I ain't got no more. I can definitely tell you I'm a little bit disappointed. So I go up here. So how am I supposed to get past that? Oh, I keep bumping into the... This is ridiculous, I don't get it. I'm punching him. No, I'm being bounced off the whip. It's a piece of cake, is it, Kay? But what am I doing wrong? <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Burn the web. Right, how am I supposed to burn? Am I supposed to use that grenade? Right, I'll keep the grenade then. That's what I'm probably supposed to do. Because I've only got one. There's something there, but how the hell am I supposed to get it? It's a bit stupid. It's enticing you, but you can't get it. Oh, fuck's sake. Right, okay. Ah, right, okay, you've got to use the grenade there. Now, how am I supposed to get... F I'm finding this more annoying than anything. What's that? What's that there? Can I get it? Well, I can punch it. I've got something. Don't know what I've got, but I've got something. Oh, a whip! There we go, I've got a whip. How am I... Oh. Right, hang on. Oh, come on, this is ridiculous. Right, maybe I'm now I've got the whip. What's the point? Can I whip that? No, you can't. Right, maybe I've got a... Run and jump, maybe? Whip on that so I can swing over? Oh, you get a lot of lives in this. Oh, I've got to get more. What's the, what's the point? He should have it on him at all times. This is jump up and whip, whipping post. Jump up. And whip. Ah.
Oh, right, here we go. I see what you mean now. I see what you mean, but how am I supposed to get that in I see what you mean. Bloody hell. Alright, let's try again to see. There we go. Oh, shit! No, I don't want to play that no more. I find that quite annoying, actually. I was I was hoping to like it. I was hoping to like it. I didn't think much of that, actually. Right. What was the one? What was next on the list? Something on the Amiga, weren't it? Frantic Freddy. There we go. C64 conversion. Ah, I can't spend a day on that. Gotta be joking. <laughs> oh, is it loading? Bad enough spending a bloody ten minutes on that. Right, oh yeah, I remember this. A pretty fun game this was. Oh, oh shit. Yes. Shitting. on this. Well, I can't do anything. Oh, fucking hell. What did it go across? Well, we all know what this is. Could have been a PD game. Shit. Oh no 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 no! Oh, Oh, no, 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 no,
but yeah, sure. Look out on the safety safe. Considering how basic this looks, it's quite a fun little game. No, oh, ah, bastard. Can I make it? Can I make it? Well, yes. Interlude 2, Freddy's Revenge. Oh, it's Interlude. Hello Andreas, how you doing? Ah, oh, well you bastard. That's quite a fun little game now, I quite enjoyed that. So you enjoyed that, right, we'll play Rachel's one, what's that? Um, Hercules Slayer. There we are. Is that it? What the fuck is it? Her cool. H E R C. Herkel, I don't think I've got it, Rachel. Herkel, yes, I have got it. Yes, I have. Hercules, there it is. Right, play game. No, oh, I don't like that. That's a horrible menu screen. Let's see if things improve though. Ooh. This is. Hang on, let's give it a chance. There's a beat em up. What the hell's that primer? Tiger's head. Well, that music sounds messy. What's that at the top then? Can I jump? Could be Jason. Yeah, Jason and the Argonauts. How do I turn them out? Look at us! Sh 
surely they haven't ripped off the barbarian sprite. This is very, very... I don't know. They're trying to be like Barbarian here. I'm trying, Roach, I'm trying. <laughs> What's that snake at the bottom? Is that representing my health? Seems to be getting longer if anything. Jula, how you doing? Slow, it is slow. Hello Johnny, how are you doing? I haven't seen you for ages. I don't like this. I'm getting up. No objects collect. I'm supposed to collect objects. Let's try again. So I thought it what happened there? Why did my sprite just decide to go teleport? This is weird! Am I supposed to just keep going? Can I scroll off the screen? No, I can't. Flip those heads, right. Problem is, this is so slow. I don't know how to collect them. Oh, I've got a maybe I've got a whack them. Can I go now? No, nope, I've got a This is Right, so you turn oh, I'm not picking up. Oh now there's another head appearing. I don't know when this come out, but I'm not enjoying it. What the hell are you supposed to do? Saying that I have to collect things, I'm thinking it's a fighting game. There's not much fighting going on, I'm whacking him and nothing's happening. Well, I'm bothering him and it's not doing nothing. You know, there's no energy meter to represent what's going on. All I'm seeing is that little snake at the bottom. Well, not such a little snake, but it's somehow getting bigger. But what is the point of the game? You can't move anywhere. I don't know what that screeching noise is. IK plus on the ST, okay. not played the ST version, so that's going to be interesting. Is the snake there? I don't know, but it's just... I don't even know what the snake's doing. It's just going left and right. <laughs> this is... I'm not liking this. It looks like I've taken the sprite from Barbarian. Ruined it a bit. Yeah, I don't like this. 
I don't like it. Sorry, Rachel. Oh, shut up, phone. Right, nah. Don't like it. Obli object clicked. No object. More objects! No, I wouldn't recommend that one. Now, interestingly, how's how's IK Plus going to play on the ST? Is it going to be the same as the Amiga? And guess what? I don't even think I've got it. What about international? Uh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. International Karate. Yes, we have it. We do have it. We do have it. Yes, I do have it. Oh, God, no. ET on the 2600. Oh, God. This is the same as the Amiga version. Which is a surprise. Exactly the same as the Amiga version. Why can't I do that? There we go. Even the sound effects are the same. The music obviously sounds better on the Amiga. But apart from that, it's the same game. So I wonder if this was a Amiga port. Is it vice versa? Who knows? Probably vice versa. I don't know. Let's find out. Hang on. After this bit. Yeah, they're all samples. Even this version's very smooth. It's it's exactly the same. Both versions are exactly the same. The only difference is the music it sounds better on the Amiga. That's it. Apart from that, it's the same game. Ah, oh, you bastard. Oh, yep, yeah, T does the same thing. And we somehow managed to stay in. And I'll... Ooh, where did I come? Why is that? Oh, come on. Yeah, the Commodore 64 is a good version. That's the first first time I ever played it. But I had it. I originally had it on. I owned it on the Amstrad CPC. And when I got an Amiga, I owned that version. I've got to remember, it's a one-button game. I've got to keep remembering that. Already. Have another go. One more go. Nah, no licensing. I mean, you can't really. 
have copyrights over a sample going hey and punching noises. Oh, I got full sweep that time. Stays in. Oh, bollocks. I oh, made some good games out of the I like the pool, like the pool and the snooker games on the Amiga. No great, great games. That still, that was the best pool and pool and snooker games I've ever played. Was Jimmy White's and Arch McLean's pool. Oh, now I've got a oh, shit. I've got, one. I've got a avoid the. Ah! How do I do that? I'm not gonna slide. Oh, right, I'm supposed to just push down. No, no. I'm still in, I'm still in the game. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm supposed to just pull down. I was pulling I was pushing fire. Still in. <laughs> well, back to the ball stage. I mean, yellow belt. Ah. Hello, Amiga Bang. How you doing? I'm still in this game. Oh, I'm on purple belt now. No, I'm not. I'm in yellow belt. What the fuck are you talking about? Now it's getting a little bit more difficult. 
Fucking hell, didn't even give me a chance to get up. Oh, come on. Right. Yeah, that was a good version. Excellent version. Never thought, never thought the ST would be exactly the same version as the Amiga. Right. Right, I'll have a game of ET, then Stefano can choose his Master System game. God, I'm not looking forward to this. God, this is crap. I know it's crap. Yeah. Oh shit. Really a terrible game. I hate this game. It just doesn't make any sense. Uh all I know ETX would have been cheaper to buy. At least it had speech. But this is just stupid. This game's okay. I can't see any. I can't say anything good about this game. Fuck off. And why can't I get that? If this was all that was available on computers or consoles back in this day, I doubt if I. I doubt get. It. Probably getting into computer games, I would have been put off by playing this game. Ah, oh, fuck this. Yeah, all the remaining copies that didn't get sold got thrown in the landfill in America. Best, best place for it. Oh, this is ridiculous. This is stupid. Right. Now. Oh. Ah, this is crap. I hate this. I hate that game. I fucking hate it. Well, I think Stefano's away. So, who wants to choose something on the Master System? This will be the last game until we do quiz time. So, get the Master System out. Oh, you did. Oh, Endure Racer. Sorry, Stefano. I didn't see your comment. All right, Enduro Racer. Oh, well, fucking hell. Push the wrong button.
Ah, you bastard. Come on, time's running out. Come on, where's the finish line? Oh, that takes the piss. Well, at least I know the accelerator is now. I know there's a knack to jump my thing. Falls and back. Right? Time again. Unbelievable. Let's have one more go. Can't get this jump in, right? Give me a bite. Slide me down. Oh, out of time. Damn it. <sighs> well, it's a good version, though. I'll give it that. It's definitely a good version. Right, I'm going for a quick break, and I'll be back with some quizzes. Thank you. 
Okay, what should we play first? Blockbusters. <laughs> Seems to be our favourite game, Blockbusters. Okay, why not indeed? What Z is a ru a ruined city in what's formerly Rhodesia, Rhodesia, whatever. Zambia, why? Zambia, why? Zambia. <laughs> Zanzibar. No, Zimbabwe. F. What F is pulled or waved in India by a 
punk walla. That's a fan, isn't it? A punk walla. It's a fan. Yay! Well done, Rachel. Well done, David. Where do you want to go now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. What C was the favourite home of Sir Winston Churchill? What C was the favourite home for Sir Winston Churchill? Canterbury? Checkers. Checkers. Right, who's spelling it right? Q U. Right. Cartwell. Oh. <coughs> right. What N was the description of um, idealized savage or primitive man or romantic li literature? Literature. Neat. Then it's a description of noble, native. <laughs> Negro. David says Negro. Jason says noble. Rachel says native. Whoa. Noble. All right, let's try noble then. Yep, yeah, well done, well done, Jason. Know what it is. And so is Amiga Bang. Where do you want to go now? K. K? Which K? Can't even see. Okay, yes, yeah, K. Right, here we go. What K is a small falcon that is also known as a wind hover kestrel yeah kestrel i spelled that right kestrel kestrel yay we got that one rachel mega bang david and jason well done where do you want to go now A U, okay. What U means? Yeah. Only impression test. Only only impressions. Yeah, that word. <laughs> Universal. Right. Okay, we'll go universal. Universal? No! Ubiquity! Well, what X were discovered by Rote Ronchen? X-ray. Yes, well done, Rachel. Well done, David. Where do you want to go now? What colour? I can't. We're red, aren't we? Red. Yeah, we've got to go across. Okay, Jason. <laughs> you put your beard down, Sal, Rachel. <laughs> Right, a J, what? J was first. Right, a J. What J is a stream of water ejected from a nozzle or spout? Jet. Yes, Rachel, David got that one. Well done. 
Right, okay, where do you want to go now? Okay, Rachel, it can't be that far. <laughs> Seven seconds lag. If you got lag, push F5 on your chat or on your on your um, what you're watching it on your web browser. You see, <laughs> tea, okay. What tea was the popular name for the Middlesex gallows that stood where Marble Arch is now? Try something. <laughs> what is the popular name for the? I googled it. Okay, Rachel. <laughs> right. So no one knows. Let's just put Tim. No, it was Tyburn. The Ty Tyburn. Yeah, I got almost got there. Right. Okay. What E were Miss Bill and Miss Bus concerned with? Who's Miss e, Who's Miss Bill and Miss Bus? Something I used to do quite a lot was Miss Buses. <laughs> Yeah, they're bastard questions tonight, aren't they? Rich. <laughs> Very tricky. I think we're going to know this one, are we? Sounds a tricky one. What e? Wait a everything. I'll just go and guess everything. Oh, Rachel's on the same. Ha oh, ha! Education. Right, Blue can win this. Where are they going? Why? What? Why? In right, what why in Boys from the Black Stuff was the determined job hunter Yozza? I don't know if that's how you spell it, but I know it's Yozza.
or is it with an A? Right, let's find out. Oh, fuck off! I was right! Oh, fuck, they could win this. Yosa. Yeah, I thought it was Yosa, but. Right, what S is a worker metal? What S is a worker in metal? Gives a job, gives a job. A smithy. Yeah, a smith, isn't it? A smith, yeah. Yeah, well done, Rachel. Well done, Jason. Right, now we need to. If we was going up, we would have won, but unfortunately. Right, where do you want to go? A Q. Okay, what Q is a fundament, fundamental, mental, physic particle, and mentioned by James Joyce? A quark. Right, quark. Looks like the majority is with a quark. And it's the correct answer. World well arms. Mega Bang, David, Jason. Rachel and Stefano, well done. Where do you want to go now? An M. Okay, for the game. What M is a wise man? My myrrh. What M did the wise man bring along with gold and frankincense? Myrrh. Thank God you spell it because I wouldn't have known. M Y R R H. Yeah, you all got that one. Well done. God, oh, we got there eventually. <laughs> right, let's have another go. Grr. <laughs> Gold Frankenstein and Gurr classic bottom. <laughs> what <Whoa. coughs> is a unreasonably present idea of interest? Persistent idea of interest. Obsession. Well done, Amiga Bang. And well done, David. And DBD. Right, where do you want to go now? <coughs> Excuse me. An A. What A are teaspoons with saints of Handless. What? What a <laughs> is our teaspoons with saints on the handles. Handles. Handless. Handles. This is what you get when you walk out your education. <laughs> Four candles. <laughs> yeah. Can't you would never probably the generation of today would not understand that. Handles for forks. Handles for forks, yeah. <laughs> what well, are teaspoons of saints on the handles?
Wow, Leslie Crowell was a legend. Christ, he was the best host of the Price is Right. He was the best at that. No one could, not even Bruce Forsyth could touch him on that. Come on now, he did everything, you know, he was fucking awesome. Fucking awesome at that game show. Brilliant. No one could touch him on that. God, we had some decent... Well, I know it's an American game show, but when we got over... They just made it brilliant. Now it's just all shit. But there you go. Oh, Russ. So you, Rachel, you must work with um, youngsters. No, I ain't going to have a clue what anything is. Unless you're like, unless you're DVD and classics. Oh god, I didn't like Supermarket Sweep anyway. I didn't like it. I thought it was crap. Yeah, old Dow Winton. Oh, I fucking couldn't stand him. Did did she? Fucking hell. It's like Bullseye, no one could touch big Jim Bowen. That was his show. That was his show, Jim Bowen. That was his. No one else no one else could do what he did. That was his show. Smashing super greens. Well you could have won. A fucking speedboat, yeah. Could have won a fucking speedboat, yeah. There you go. Your speedboat. Yeah, but I live in a flat. Well what there was fucking Three, two, one. Ah, oh, three, two, one. That was a good Ted Rogers. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Oh, these old game shows are excellent. It was like riddles and stuff to win a prize. Fuck it. I sort of understood it, but I was like a kid, so I couldn't understand the riddles. Right. I'll pass this soon is the answer. Okay. Oh, so it must be. Yeah, well done, Stefano. Right, where do you want to go next? P. Okay. What P? Propeller. Propeller. What's that? Propelled. The the streamers of the Isle of Wight ferry from many years. Who's been to the Isle of Wight? I've been there a couple of times. Really nice place. Really nice. Funny you should say that, Rachel. That's the last time I went was a kid. <laughs> Both in the 80s sometime, at some point when I went there. But it's a really nice area. Really nice there. <laughs> okay, Jane. <laughs> I know it was a little railway. They've got a little railway over there. What? Oh, paddles. Paddles? Alright, paddles. 
Yes, well done. You said paddles. Rachel, well done, Rachel. And Jason. Sorry, I didn't see that. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention there. Right, where do you want to go now? Hedgehog flavoured crisps. What the hell? I don't think I've ever had them. Oh, Stefano got it then. Oh, yeah, he, sorry, Stefano, you did get it. You, I think you got it before any, everyone, didn't you? No, Rachel got it first. There we go. God, bloody hell, it was going so quick now, I didn't keep up. So, yeah, well done, well done. Right, where do you want to go now? Oh, Q, Q, bloody hell. Pay attention. What Q is a French speaking town and province in Canada? That's Quebec. But I'm quite hoping someone knows how to spell. Well, of course you do. You know, someone knows how to spell Quebec. Yeah. Yeah, well done. You all got that one. Quebec, well done. Oh, we can, we can get this one. Okay, for the game. Right, okay, what am I doing? What K is an Australian marsupial related to the wallaby? Kangaroo, of course. Or is it koala? <laughs> kangaroo, right, let's go for kangaroo. Is it the kangaroo? It's the kangaroo. Well done, Rachel, and well done, Jason. Excellent. We've, we've won that one easy. Oh, shut up. All right, okay. Thing is, I hear people pronouncing your name as Stefano, but I know it's Stefano. Is it? I'll try and pronounce your name, Stefano Pavrone. Is it Pavrone or Pavoir? As you say it, like in an Italian style, is it Stefano Pavrone? Oh, brilliant. Right, okay. Right, okay, load questions. Right, choose a block. Right, number two. Uh, oh. Here we go. Right, here we go, here we go. Three, what colour do you want to go for?
in a statement. What is what? Margaret Hillen's nickname. Margaret Hillen Hillen's nickname. You have a, oh god. Dave is obsessed with his Atari ST. <laughs> Yeah, but come on, you got to admit the Amiga had a better sound chip. <laughs> come on, an AY chip that was used in the Amstrad CPC 464 and Spectrum. And the MSX. But the, the ST had MIDI. I'll give it that. It had MIDI. I don't know what the fuck you'll do with it, but it had MIDI. <laughs> the one from MASH. <laughs> what is my... Hopkin, Hopkin, Hoplip, Hoplips. Hot legs. Let's find out. Hot lips. Did you say yeah, Rachel got that one? Well done, Rachel. go out here blue I think I've started a, a, a railroad conversation off here about the Atari versus the Amiga <laughs> what is the most commonly used punctuation mark full stop the comma no oh, it's a comma well, that's certainly come to a full stop. <laughs> Five. What is your, oh, brown or orange? Come on again. <laughs> orange, okay. Yeah, brown sport in here. We don't like sport, do we? <laughs> right, what will be the date of the first day of the 21st century? Oh, fuck. <laughs> that was 20 years ago. I can't remember. First of Jan 2000. Of course it would. 2000, no, 2001. What? Seriously? I thought the year 2000 was the 21st century. Well, you know that. Oh. Well, hang on, David got that one right. David got it right, actually, so. We went for a wedge so we didn't have to be Pacific. Uh, 
Hey, 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 stop cheating. Don't want to fucking ask Wikipedia or Google. That's not how we roll around here. Right. Ah, yellow or blue? Oh, okay, okay, Mega Man. Alright, I'll let you off. <laughs> yellow. Okay, and that's entertainment. Which two Woody Allen films are about sisters? sisters yep I'll let you can have that one Jason well done <laughs> excuse me oh here we go brown wedge our least favorite subject How many times in a row, in a row, may a volleyball be struck by one team? Twice, I think. Yeah. Right, we've got Jason says two, Rachel says two, David says three. I think it's two. I think everyone's saying two, so I'm going to go with the majority and say two. No! Jill was right. Jaya, whatever. No, no, David was right. David was right. But because it's a wedge, I can't accept. I thought it was two. I honestly thought it was two. Oh, and now I can go for a pink wedge. History. Where was Alexei Leonov, Leonov the first to walk? Where was Alexei Leonov the first to walk? Space. Right, everyone saying space. Is it space? In space. Well done, everyone. Yes, space. As a wedge. Who <laughs> <laughs> strep for <laughs> Tanam? <laughs> right, okay. So we do want to go yellow or orange. Orange, okay. Science. Rachel loves her science. What nut, me, no. <laughs> what nut is used in the manufacture of dynamite? Gotta be some nut, peanut. All right, okay, peanuts. Two for peanuts. Well, we got three. Well, no, no, it's peanut and nut. Well, you could, sure, should be nutmeg. Let's find out. The peanut. Well done, Rachel, and well done, Jason. I never would have known that.
four. Let's go for grey. One bastard. Right, where do you want to go? Blue or yellow? Actually, we need to go for yellow to be this closer to this entertainment because we need to go. Yeah. Watch which Herman Hesse novel gave its name to a rock group. Hermits. Right, Hermits. Could it be Hermits? Steppenwolf. No. Keep your motor running. Right, grey. Four. Oh, you bastard, grey. One. Green or orange. Green, okay. Geography. For which ocean does the international date line run? Pacific. Yeah, I tend to agree with Pacific. Uh, David's also saying Pacific. Everyone's saying Pacific. Is it a Pacific? It's the Pacific. World well on Amiga Bang, David and Jason. Five. Right, grey. Six. Oh, fuck's sake. Green or yellow? Green, okay. And that's geography. In which gulf does the gulf stream start? In which in which gulf does the gulf stream start? Mexican Gulf of Mexico. Yeah, Mexico? Gulf of Mexico, well done Rachel, David, Mega Bang, Jason, Jaya. Well done. Right, three, oh, grey. Five, oh, brown wedge again. Our oh, least favourite subject. What does SLR stand for among photographers? Oh, what's this got to do with sport? If you know photography, you're going to know what SLR stands for. I don't know any single lens reaction. Reflex, yes, 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 yes. Well done, David. Well done, Stefano. I never knew that. I'm not a photographer. But well done. What's that got to do with sports? But who cares? We got that out of the way. Is photography a sport? Oh, blue wedge, art and literature. Who painted 
Cypress Road and Starry Night. Van Gogh. Van Gogh, all right, okay. Vincent Van Gogh, well done Rachel, well done Amiga Bang, and well done Stefano. Got in the full name there. And that's another wedge. Got that one pretty urgently, well done. Right, okay. Six, all right, green or brown. Excuse me. Right, green. And that's geography. Are you more likely to find a computer or microwave oven in a British home? I would say a computer. Because we're talking about the 80s here. Well, I can go either way on this one. <laughs> right, the majority is going with microwave. So let's see. Let's see what who's right. Is it the majority? Majority saying microwave. No, it's a computer. So the majority was wrong. I thought it would be a computer. Four. Three. Gray again. Three. Gray again. Four. You bastard. Gray again. Say gray. Three, gray again. Three, gray again. Six, brown or orange. <laughs> hey, let me guess, I know what it's going to be. Orange, okay. Science. What's the only mammal with four knees? Bees. Of course, the bees' knees. The bees' knees. Hang on, hang on, they're mammals, hang on, elephants, elephants, okay, elephants, yep, well done Stefano, Rachel, yep, and a big bang, well done. Three, oh, yellow wedge, entertainment. That's entertainment. Who was that the first major Western rock star to perform in the Soviet Union in 1979? Certainly weren't Elvis. No, he died in 77. <laughs> Paul McCartney, Elton John, as part of a tour album, Single Man. All right, so, okay, I'll go with Stefano, Elton John. And Stefano gets that one. Well done, Stefano. That's for a wedge. Brilliant stuff. Four. 
four. So what we got? We got yeah, oh, we got four. We got four wedges here. Yeah? Right. Okay. So what we need to do is get around this side of the ball. Let's go through the middle. Let's go through the middle. Well, that'll be a quicker route. It's a music question. Okay, this is from Jizz Joy of Man's Desiring. Is it by a back, bombs or handle? You should know this one, Stefano. It's a classical question. Right, yeah, of course you knew. I knew you would know. Back. Back. Well done, Stefano. So, oh, we're going for the middle, but pick your subject, it's not for the game. We're just taking a shortcut through the middle. Orange, okay. Which two points of the Earth's surface does this have no meaning? North Pole and the South Pole. Yeah, well done. The Poles are Mega Bang, Rachel, David, Jill. Yes, Jason, well done. One. Okay. Go for it. Well, we can go for dumb out. We can go for what well, we want to go for blue or orange because we need to go there or we need to go there. Okay, Jason. Orange, okay. What is the horn of a rhinoceros, a rhinoceros made of ivory, isn't it? Right, everyone's saying ivory. Hair! No, we was all wrong. Except for David, he was right. Six. Ah, oh, fuck. Right, let's get out. Let's go outside, right. This way on the outside. Yeah, my dad got you. Dad got that one. You must know your dad. Hello. What's the certain in Hitchcock's torn curtain? Curtain. What? What's the curtain? What's, ah, iron curtain. Well on Stefano. Okay, yep, hello, hello. Right, Iron Curtain, well done, well done Stefano. Right, 
two. All right, yellow. Actually, we go for blue because then we're in the center of both of them. What's missing from the Venus de Milo? Arms. Yes, arms. Rachel, Omega Bang. Yes, arms. Your arms, you all got that one. Well done. One. Great. Right. Five. Oh, orange wedge. Science. What is Quicksilver? I ain't got a clue. Mercury. Mercury. Right, everyone saying Mercury. Mercury! Well done, Rachel. Amiga Bang. David. Yep, you all got that one. Stefano. Another wedge. Brilliant stuff. One more to get. Has to be yellow. Entertainment. Music question. The bridge is falling down. Barrett's built it. Anyway, um, what is wrong with a building again with the wood and clay? It falls down. Run the bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. Run the bridge is falling down. Is it my fair lady or something like that? I always said like, Barrett spilled it. Right, rain washes it away. It falls down, let's find out. Wood and clay, it will wash away. Yeah, Rachel, well done. Oh, oh we've already got it. We've already got it. Right, orange, for orange. What's the only mammal that can fly than what? What's the only mammal that can that can't fly that can fly? That can't fly, but that that what? What oh what? It's the only mammal that can't fly that can fly. I don't get that. How the fuck can't it fly then? A penguin. Man. Of course. Of course. Well, it should have said a human. So, yeah, it should have said human. Close. We invented the aeroplane. Or the Wright brothers did. Yeah, piss off the SJWs, alright. Yeah. But then, a human. Should, yeah. Alright, well, let's say, yeah, we got. Hang on, hang on, what did we get we got it wrong, didn't we? We got it wrong. 
Yeah, I, that, that is a good question, no, that is a good question. Who can't fly but can fly, yeah, it is a good, oh, Stefano got it. Yeah, well done, Stefano. I didn't. I'm sorry, I didn't see your answer there. It just went up too quickly. But well done, Stefano. It makes perfect sense. Right, orange or blue? Orange, okay, bigger bang. What book subtitled the preservation of favoured races races in the struggle of life? On the origin of species. Darwin's right let's find out David says oh, is a species well done David and Jason and Stefano Oh, we've already got it. We've already got that witch. Yellow entertainment. What film was Grace Kelly making in Monaco when she met Prince Rain Rainer? Nor can I, Rachel. Be way before our time. Way before our time. Think in Monaco. To catch a thief. Fucking hell, Stefano knows. Well done, Stefano. Orange, oh grey. Alright, uh, I have to go for orange. What fraction of person's life passes in sleep? Twenty six years. Third, one third. One third, right, is it one third? One third, so yes. Well done, Jason, Rachel, and Stefano. Oh, we go green wedge geography what kind of creature are the canary islands named after canary birds yeah hang on hang on 
Rachel saying dog and that's 100%. Right, I'm going for your answer there, Rachel. Dogs. Well done, Rachel. I never would have known that, but Stefano also agrees. Well done. So now we need to go to the centre. Tell them we've never been there. Right. With what sh with whip with what band did Boy Jules spring to fame? That was Culture Club. Yep, Rachel agrees, and so does David. And so does Jason. Culture Club. Didn't like them. Too quick. Nah, Rachel's on the ball. Even though you, you know, even though Rachel drinking still on the ball, well done. All right, two brand sports. <laughs> Your sister fancy boy George. What happens to sails if you are in irons? <laughs> What are you drinking, by the way, Rachel? The break, the break, I guess. It's a. Uh, <laughs> Tom Sales. Alright, uh, Tom Sales. They flap. Did anyone say that? No, they flap. One pink, well, pink or blue, it doesn't matter. Pink, okay, Jai. What South African organization was formed in 1912 and banned in 1961? The ANC? Right, the ANC. African National Congress. Well done, David and Jason. Right, where, where do you want to go? Geography, green. How many rivers are there in Saudi Arabia? None. It's a fucking desert. None. Yeah, we all got that one. Yep, yeah, David, Rachel, and Jay, 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 Jay. Yeah, fucking desert. Six, oh for fuck's sake. Right, we're gonna go blue, orange, we won't go up there, cause no point.
Yeah, exactly, Steph. No, they have no respect for their, you know, marry four wives, five. What? That's just stupid. They're a bit backwards. What is the collective term for flying geese? You know this one, Steph. No, you like your geese. Flock, isn't it? A gaggle. Alright, a gaggle. A skin! A skin! No! <laughs> Excuse me. One. Yellow or blue? <laughs> yellow. Okay, yellow it is. Entertainment. Which X Beatles bought the rights to all of Buddy Ollie's songs? You could have answered Stefano. You always got you could answer. I think you got the quickest reaction on your keyboard. George Harrison or Paul McCartney? Right, Paul McCartney. Right, we've got two for Paul McCartney. Let's find out. Paul McCartney, well done. Um, Jason and Rachel, well done. There we go. Right, where do you reckon we should go? What's the end question, maybe? Yellow, okay, DVD, it's entertainment. <laughs> Who starred in the film? Right, oh, come on. <laughs> we all know this. We all know this. Uh, it's the great actor, Mr. Great Actor himself, Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford. That always knackers me out. Who's up for a bit of musical trivia? Have another beer, I'm already having that. Okay, what we're going to do? We'll play some Mike Reed's pop quiz. Be back in a minute.
Hang on, what's going on here? Swap joysticks. Remembers might read anyway. Saturday Superstore, wasn't it? Saturday Super. Remember Saturday Superstore? Right. What do you want to go for? What question? Mark? Yes, Rachel, yeah, going live, did, yeah. I didn't like going live. Wasn't that Mike Reed? Not Mike Reed, Mike Smith. And Sarah Green. Why don't you, yeah, I remember why don't you. I remember that. Unplug a TV set and do something else instead. Oh, it's Fred Schofield. What a thing is Mike Reed. Not Mike Smith. No, because they're both married. Anyway, pick a number. Yeah, it is voice. I remember Tiz voice. Number three. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, we know what it is. Right, pick a number. It was either Tiz Wars or Sa oh, no. Um, Swap shop, wasn't it, on the other side with Noel Edmonds? <coughs> play away, play away. Sounds, I don't remember it, but it does sound familiar. Number five, okay, Amiga Bang. Number five, it's a rock and roll question. Rock and roll. Who did hippie hippie shakes? Right, it's swinging blue jeans. Monkeys, Chubby Checker, or Manfred Man. Now, I think it was swinging blue jeans. Alright, Rachel agrees. Yeah, well done, Rachel. Oh, what I got? Rock music. Who were breaking the law in 1980? Judas Priest. Yep, they got it. Okay, what number do you want to go for? Yeah, Jill got that one as well. Breaking the law, breaking the law, breaking the law, number six. Oh, mystery. Some girls were number two hit for whom? The Commodores, Mud, the Jacksons, or Racy? Mm. 
Marta? Question mark. Racy 100%. Okay, Stefano. Well done, Stefano. <laughs> Mystery music. Who was qualified? Sapphire 1977. Oh. Oh, they got it wrong. They got it wrong. You get a bonus point here. So it's definitely not the top one. Scott McKenzie, Neil Young, or Barry White. Barry White. Okay. Always a question mark. All right. Okay. Stefano's. 100% with Barry White. Yeah, well done, Jill and Stefano. Bonus point. Right, so we're in the lead. Where do you want to go? Number nine. Okay. Jason says number nine. Here we go. So this is a pop music. Who sang Eye of the Tiger? I know this one. That was Survivor. No. no five by three. No Falco. No specials. It was Survivor. Who else agrees? Yep. Chile. July. Yep. Everyone's going to say Survivor. Yeah, well done everyone. Jukebox, alright. Pop music. Who were bad boys in 1983 with the Edge of Heaven and in 1986? I ain't got a clue. But they got it wrong. They got it wrong. So, Heaven 17, go west or wham for a bonus point. Wham, 100%. Well done, Stefano. Next round is Spot the Star. Who is this famous star? First clue, the real name of this star is Stuart Goddard. Is it Dave Stewart, Shaking Stevens, Adam Ant or Smokey Robinson? Oh, Nokia, oh, they were great phones, they were. They had, they had the run of it. I miss the Nokia phones, really do. Right, so Stefano saying Adamant. And you're absolutely right there. Well done, Stefano. Who is this famous star? First clue, this star is often referred as Soul Brothers number one. And they got it right. Next round is your scene. Play safe or easy or hard. Right, basically easy or hard. So, would you want to go easy or hard? Hard. 
hard okay a hard question on mystery music who told of anarchy in the UK sex pistols that's the sex pistols the, tu the tubes the cramps the king Kurt or it's the sex pistols we all know that Yeah, well done everyone. Who we were smoking the boys' room in eighty five? Oh, they got it right. David, will you please choose easy or hard? What do you want to go for? <laughs> hard question it is. Hard question on mystery music again. Who had reason to believe? Robin Gibb, Neil Young, Frank Sinatra or Rod Stewart? You know, but there's no point. What do you mean? If you know it, say the answer. Robin Gibb Tim Harding, who's Tim Harding? Alright, Robin Gibb, actually Tim Harding, but it's no on the list. Oh, is that Tim Harding Rob Stewart's real name then? Tim Harden, who's Tim? Rod Stewart. We'll go for Rod Stewart then. Because I'm getting confused. Yeah, well done. Rod Stewart, Tim Harden, whatever his real name is. Yeah, but you got to remember, they didn't know him as Tim Harden or Harden or whatever his name. Rod Stewart, that's how everyone knew him most by. Then he was a UK number one in 1977. From whom? They got it wrong. They got it wrong. We can we can get a bonus point here. Right, Glenn Campbell. What the fuck was it? Did they guess Johnny Cash. They got it wrong. Glenn Campbell, Kenny Rogers, or Peter, Paul, and Mary. Kenny Rogers, okay Stefano, Kenny Rogers. Yeah, well done. Brilliant. We are thrashing them. Right, we're gonna go for easy or hard. <laughs> Using the computer does well, but we are trouncing them right now. Or shall I say your chances in route now? All of you. We like it hard, okay? Ah, mystery again. Who found that there was a whole lot of loving? Mud, Guys and Dolls, The Commodores, or Rod Stewart. You know it is something. We always have different questions. Considering this is a Commodore 64, we never get hardly any repeated questions. Hmm. 
Right. <laughs> the problem is we can't repeat the question. Not in this game. Guys and dolls. Okay, Stefano. Yeah, well done, Stefano. Right, what are we gonna do? Going for hard, they have to. Pop music. Who were king for a day? I got it right. Next round is name the year. James team, what year was this? First clue, Jimi Hendrix was arrested on drugs charges. Mind you, we are cheap. We have to pause the emulator. I have to do that anyway because the lag. Um, 68, 67, 69 or 65? 69, he was arrested in Canada. Okay, Stefano, David also knows. 69. Uh, no, it wasn't. It was 68. What year was this? First clue, John Lennon and Yoko Ono temporarily separated. 73, 72, 71, 74. Well, they got that one. Year was born. The next round is the quick fire round. Teams will answer many questions as you can. Question number one. Rock and roll music. Who had a number one hit in 59? Here comes summer. Cliff Richard, Eddie Cochran, Danny Williams or Jerry Keller. Here comes some. I think I know that chain and all. Eddie Cochran. No, it wasn't. The country and folk music. Who reckoned I can help? Billy Swan, Ernest Tubb, Tommy Howard, Peter Paul, Mary. <laughs> Billy Swan, 100%. Well done, Stefano. On country, oh, who wanted to lead you through the streets of London? Kenny Rogers, Glenn Campbell, Ralph McTell, or Lonnie Dungeon? How the fuck are country music singing about London? Who the fuck would want to do that? Right, Lonnie Ralph McTell, right. Well done, Stefano. And David got that one as well. Mystery music. Who knew Lady Marmalade? 
the OJs, Marmalade, B.A. Robertson, Labar, Labar. Unfortunately, Rachel, I cannot, you cannot uh, get the question back. This is the problem with this game. Right, Stefano Labelle, hundred percent, lady. Well, hundred percent, we go with Labelle. And right, uh, Stefano got it right. Well done. Rock and roll music. Who was a natural boy? Billy J. Kramer, Wayne Fontana, Jerry Keller, or Bobby Darren? Why the emulator? Can't do that. <laughs> if there's a way, I would. Nah, I wouldn't. That's, <laughs> that's more work for me. I can do that. Right. Um, <laughs> Nat King Cole, 100%. Eh? Still even on the fucking list. How the hell can it be? Right, Jerry, we'll go for Jerry, yeah? I'll put... Oh, wow, they got it, they got it. Rock and roll music. Who didn't want to... Anyone about... Yeah, I missed that. Hope you got that. Bobby Darren, Tommy Steele, Elvis Presley, or Jimmy Gate. J. J. Kramer. Nah, fifties, sixties is not my thing. Not even seventies, really. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy Kramer. <laughs> Billy Kramer, rather. Billy Kramer, not Jimmy. Who the fuck's Jimmy? Frankie Vaughan, I've heard of him. <laughs> so what do you reckon what do you, what do you want to go for what do you, who do you reckon we should go for right Kramer should we go for Kramer Kramer let's go for Kramer you don't get that we got it we got it we got it well done well done Rachel right, for 53 Composed by who? Oh, oh, we ain't gonna get that. No point. 
timeout, no point. For the final round of pop quiz, it's back to the jukebox round. So we're 10 points ahead. Right, what kind of, what do you want to go for? <laughs> I wouldn't. I have to be drunk. <laughs> right, number three. Country and folk music. Who was a man of some sorrow? <laughs> Waylon Jennings. Damn the. Damn Dukes of Hazard. Bob Dylan, Alex Campbell, or Gary Stewart. Right, Davis is Waylon. Just a good old boy. Never meaning no harm. Something, something, I can't remember. Right, uh, I don't know. Maybe, but okay. So the only one, the only one that's guess is Waylon. So we go for Waylon. What do you reckon? Right, we go for a while then. Yeah, well done, Dave. Got it right. Brilliant. Rock music. Who found that the uh, hardest part of the night? They got it right. Bon Jovi. Right, where do you want to go? Two, four, seven, or eleven? Number seven. Here we go, Rachel. Number seven it is. Rock and roll. Who was halfway to paradise in 1961? Billy J. Kramer, Jerry Lee Lewis, Billy Fury, or Man for a Man? Man for a Man, Jason's guessing. Rachel, you should know this. <laughs> Right, we'll go through with um, Manfred Man. All right, we'll go with Manfred Man. No! It was pretty fury. All classical music, 
Stefano, you'll know this one. Who composed the New World Symphony? Will they get it? They got it. But we won this game regardless. Right, two or four. They can't catch up now, we've won this game, no matter what happens. Number two. Oh, classical again. The Fair Maid of Perth was an opera with whom? R. Wagner, Verdi, Rossini, R. Beset. Dual beset, right, okay. Well done, Stefano. Right, last question. We've won, so well done, everyone. Anyone, everyone. Who wanted someone to sing me an old fashioned song in 1976? Right, they got it right anyway. Last round of pop quiz. Congratulations to James. We won. Well done, everyone. Well, I won't have another go at that. So what we will have a go of, which we ain't played for a few weeks. Yep, it's going to be Wheel of Fortune, I'm afraid, David. As to finish the game, as to finish the night off with. We might have repeats, but hopefully you might have forgotten by then. But, yeah. Right, it's a thing. Yeah, I'm only going to be on for another 10 minutes, so I thought i will end with something pretty quick. Unless we can figure something else. I would like to, I would like to play the Mega Drive version, but... The problem with that, you got a timer, and you got to use the key, and you got to use the controller to type the. Nah, if that version was on the Amiga, I would have fucking loved to have had it. I would have played it. <laughs> That's a good idea. That is an absolutely good idea. Exanagrams. We could do that. Yes. Next week, we'll do that. We'll do that. Exanagrams. That's a good idea.
Actually, we won't bother with this. Actually, let's do, give it a trial. Let's do that now, because they're going to repeat themselves. Okay, new end game. Right. Oh. Number one. Right, okay. Yeah. I think we'll then with this. A E three. Anyway, come on, let's go, start guessing. Right. Least. No! It's not least. Yes. Stale. Yeah, well done, you got that one. Who got that one? Jai Lee, well done. Four little words. I mean, next, next time we'll make it quite a difficult. All right, it starts with W. Work. Actually, let's go for two. Let's go for two. Make it a little bit more difficult. M. Nope. No. Yep, starts with an A. Well done. Amazing. Yep, well done, Rachel. So that's going to be. I know what that's going to be. I know what that's going to be. Yes, well done. Boom, right? Well done, Rachel. Let's have another two letter word. Ooh. D? No, no D. I didn't like this game back in the day. Now I can see. I don't know if it's good for a stream to, you know, challenge your mind. 
I think this will be a good end game. A W. No W. Kanda. Yep. No, A, hey, no, it's not. I'll be Kanda. But it begins with a C, so well done. D, the D's still there, but it won't start with. Right, Condor. No, it ain't con. Oh, no, it's not Condor. Coward. Yep, it's Coward. So Jason got that one, so Julie and Rachel. So now what is it down the bottom? Yep, Drown. Well done. Drown it is. Let's go for level two. One word with level two. V? Not V. Right, activity. Jason got that one. Well done, Jason. Right. It's actually a good one, actually, because I don't have to pause the emulator. Right, notice. Yeah, well done, Jason. Well done, Rachel. All right, it's level two, words two. T. No T. A P. Not P. An L. No L. A D. Not D. Because there's no D. There's no D in this. Fucking hell. N. Not N.
an S. Yes, starts with an S. Hold on, Jason. A P? No, not P, a T. Yes, Rachel, well done, yeah. No. No. An O. No. O. Stirrup. I. Yep. R. Right, well done, Rachel. So we got the first word. Pylon. And well done, Rachel. We're getting the second word. Right. Oh, now we're going for a free word. And I'll make this one the last one of the night. Let's see if we can get this one. But yeah, this is definitely an end game. <laughs> C No C Well done Rachel for actually request um say something about this because I never would have thought about this. A P Yep, well done Amiga Bang starts with a P An L, not an L. That's all right, Rachel. Yeah, but I'm glad you mentioned it because, yeah, the really good end game. Oh, no, oh. An L? No L. Or is that an I? Not an I. An R? No R. Price. R. No R. No. You, yes, Rachel. You well done. A D, no D. An L. No L. There ain't a D. There's no D. Letters are there. What you got available is there. 
and it turns red when you what you guessed. Pupil, right, pupil. Oh yes, I think Amiga Bang. Well done. Yep, that's the first word. Well done, Amiga Bang. So down. And oh, yes. Well done, Jason. Poor. No, it's not poor. Because I already guessed the O. Pole? Right, it could be pole. No, it's not pole. Poem? No, it can't be. Polo? Polo? Yes, well done, Amiga Bang. Right, now. L across begins with an L. Limerick. And Amiga Bang got that one. Well done. Well done. Right, we'll have one more game and that'll be it. One more game, we'll do this one easy. This will be the last game. But we will we'll definitely do this as an end game and we'll make it more challenging next week. A B. Starts with a B, well done. Because obviously five you can have. It's gonna it's like a crossword. It's gonna be we'll make it more challenging. <laughs> Bangle. Yes, Bangle. Well done everyone. I oh, will end it tonight now. I'm getting tired. <laughs> Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming on. It's been another great stream, as usual. Thank you. Um, yeah, you all take care of yourselves, and I'll be on again next week. Thank you, and goodbye. <laughs>